Hi everyone, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my October empties slash what I melted that maybe isn't quite empty yet. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I, for two months in a row now, have emptied almost all of my melting basket, which is really awesome. If you watch my monthly melting basket videos, you know I put a lot in there. And so just like being able to get through things and enjoy things is super fun and it helps with my collection. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I melted in the month of October, what I emptied. I emptied, like I said, I emptied a lot. I have a few things that I melted a little bit of, didn't get to empty all the way. Um, we still have four days left of the month. So the plan is to get through as much as I can. I mean, in four days, I'm not obviously gonna get through everything that I have left, but if I can at least get through like four more different scents, um, or melt through some of what's left, that would be great. So I'll share with you what I plan to finish up the rest of the month with. If there's anything I plan to roll over to November, I'll share that with you as well. Um, you should be seeing this before my November melting basket. So if there are any rollovers in here, um, they will be in this video. Um, although I do have a couple of rollovers that I knew for a fact I was never going to finish up in October. So there was no attempt at that. So I just stuck it in November and you'll see that in my November basket. But without further ado, because we have so much to get through, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to just reach and grab empties first, We'll get, and then we'll get through the things that I haven't finished. And I'm going to go as quick as I can. Um, there are things, like if it was a little sample, I may not remember. And I'll let you know as I get through there. A lot of the times with my samples, I melt those in the bathroom. And so sometimes I don't quite remember exactly what they were like or... Um, some of them, I'll be quite honest, didn't perform very well, so I can't give you a whole lot. So we're just going to jump right in. I will try to do like clamshells slash scent shot cups first and then bag second, but we'll see. We'll just see how this goes. Okay, so what I currently have going and just emptied is this clamshell from Kay's, and this is in the scent Rustic Fall. Rustic Fall is cranberry, oak, nutmeg, and spice, and this one was is very good. Um... This is, I put it in last night and then turned off my warmers for the night and then I turned them back on this morning and I got much better performance last night. I find that if I turn off my warmers overnight and don't change the scent in the morning and just try to turn it back on, I'd never get like the same level of performance if I would have had I just left them going. So this was very good last night. That cranberry oak came out so nicely and it was like this super... It was fruitier than I expected on warm. On cold, it's pretty um, potpourri-like, and you get a lot of the spicy notes. But then on warm, I actually got a lot of that cranberry. So this was really good. I would repurchase just in another clam maybe for next year, um, but I'm good with it for this year. So super good. Wouldn't repurchase this year, but maybe would next year. <clears throat> Up next, we have from Fantasy Wax. This was a scent shot in the scent Zero. And Zero was Mold Cider and Leaves. This was delicious. Um, I love Fantasy Wax. And this Mold Cider and Leaves is just kind of like an, almost just like an apples and leaves scent. And it's really, really good. So I do have more of this. So won't be repurchasing because I think I have two more scent shots of this. So um, I'll save one for next year and might melt one in November. We'll see. Um, but really good. Really, really liked that. Would repurchase if I didn't already have more in my stash. <clears throat> Up next from Pharmacist Daughter, we have this big old scent shot in Hollow's Eve. And Hollow's Eve, Hollow's Eve is Cracklin' Birch and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was okay. Um, I don't think I really like Cracklin' Birch. And I especially don't think I love it with Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It was okay. I would not repurchase this scent. But you know while it was going it was it was fine just not my favorite so if you like cracklin birch and you like pumpkin pecan waffles like if you think that's a combo you would like then yes i would go for it pharmacist daughter performs really well for me um performance was 10 out of 10 and everything i just sent for me i don't love the cracklin birch <clears throat> up next from pharmacist daughter as well we have the scent gone bobbing and this is apple maple bourbon candied apples and flannel this was interesting so on cold this just smells like a soft apple scent like you get the mac apple <clears throat> or the apple whatever apple she uses and then i feel like the candied apple and flannel is in there softening it i don't know it's just a good solid apple scent on cold 
However, on warm, that maple bourbon came out so clearly. Like, I remember I had it going while we were cooking dinner. So at first I couldn't really, you know, smell it. I wasn't picking it up because we were cooking. And then I, we ate dinner. I went and did something in another part of the house. When I came back into the main part of the house, I was like hit in the face with that maple bourbon scent. And I remember thinking, what is that? Like, that's not what we had for dinner. <clears throat> and I didn't think that was what was in my wax. And I went and checked it out and I was like, oh, there is maple bourbon in here. And it was good. Um, again, another scent that like I might <clears throat> repurchase in a small quantity. Excuse me, I don't know what's happening to my voice. Um, but wouldn't repurchase in like a large, large quantity. It was really surprising though, and it was pretty good. So if you like maple bourbon and you like when that really comes out on warm, that scent did it. All right, let's see what else we have in the department of shots and clams. Okay, so next we have another scent shot from Fantasy Wax. And this one is in the scent Reagan's Fave. This is cotton candy. This has taken me so long to get through um, because it wasn't my favorite. So I put it in my spare room. Like I want to say I started this guys like back in August, maybe even July. I'm not kidding. And it was only cut in force. Um, and I just used it in the spare room. So obviously I don't use that warmer all the time anyways. It was way too sweet for me. Um, it is strong. It's a great performer as fantasy wax always is, but I don't really like cotton candy on its own. And this scent taught me that. Um, also I have a cotton candy frosting from Rose Girls and I don't like that on its own. So I'm just not like, I love cotton candy as a blender, but don't like it by itself. So would not repurchase that. Um, but did want to get through it because obviously like I do like fantasy wax. Okay, and then we have Oogie Boogie from Fantasy Wax. This is pistachio pudding cake and sweet bakery dough. This one kind of shocked me in that it didn't perform as well as Fantasy Wax typically does. Now, it could be because I did just receive it not too long ago and I maybe should have let it sit a little bit longer. So I do have more Oogie Boogie. Um, I ordered like two or three of them. I'm gonna let the other ones sit for longer and see how they perform. I probably will wait until like February just because, or January maybe, just because I don't see myself wanting it anyways during the holiday season. But um, it was really strong at first. Now, Fantasy Wax usually performs for a very long time for me. So usually with Fantasy Wax, I can pop it in and it will perform for hours, hours, even um, close to like 24 hours sometimes. This one was super strong upon first melting it. For the first like two or three hours, it was pretty strong. And then all of a sudden it just went away, um, which tells me it probably needed more cure time. Um, it was good when it was going, like super good. So I'm really excited to see what happens with the ones I let sit because um, like I said, really, really good while it was performing, just did not perform as long as Fantasy Wax normally does. So I don't think that's a reflection of Fantasy Wax. I think that it just needed to sit. Um, up next is one I did not like at all. This is Gimme Candy from Scentsy. I hated this, you guys. Um, it was a little iffy in the clamshell, to be honest. And I thought, okay, I'm going to pop it in. Luckily for me, with four warmers and my open concept, I can get through a clam in one melting session, okay? I put this in. It was so incredibly strong. I could smell it like outside my house. I was walking up my front walkway and could smell it. And it was so sweet and so just nothing that I like in wax. I don't even know, like a buttery, super strong caramel note in there. And yeah, this is a no for me. Will not be repurchasing. Listen, if you like caramel in your wax, I would recommend it. Like if you are a lover of caramel and you love super strong caramel scents, then yes, go for it. It was very strong, performed well, but um, too much for me. So that's a no. Um, up next is Amazing Glazin' from the Melt Stash. And this one is Zucchini Bread, Glazed Cinnamon Donuts, and Wild Berry Mousse. This one was really good. That uh, Zucchini Bread came out pretty strongly in this one. It was kind of a, a spicy Wild Berry Mousse scent. It was really interesting, but it was really good. And I really, really enjoyed this. So I was kind of sad about it because I put it in before work one day. And I only got to enjoy it for a couple hours before I went to work. And I did leave it going the whole day. So like while I was at work, I left it going. 
And when I came home, it was still really strong and smelled really good. So I got to enjoy it a little bit more after work too. Um, so really, really yummy. I would repurchase this and next time I would use it only when I'm home because I did really enjoy this scent. So very, very good scent. If you like, I would say if you like zucchini bread and wild berry mousse together, that would be a scent for you because yum, that was like perfection. All right, up next, I know I have more. Oh yeah, here's a couple more. Okay, up next we have Jack's Obsession from Scentsy and this is a apple scent I believe and this was pretty good um it did not perform as long as some Scentsy products do but I found with Scentsy it just is hit and miss I mean some perform really well and for a really long period of time others perform really well for a shorter period of time and that's kind of what this did so it performed well for shorter I did enjoy it though I have this going in my open concept um is I mean out of all I I have so many apple scents that I love so probably this wouldn't be the one I would go repurchase if I was gonna just repurchase a few apple scents but this was good and if I were to get it like in a whiff box which actually I think this came in a whiff box or something like that I wouldn't be sad about it not sure that I would repurchase for myself but if I were to get it again would not be sad um okay let's see I know I know that's not it for scent shots here's another one so this is another fantasy wax. I did quite a few fantasy wax this month. This is Mary Sanderson and this was caramel apples. This was delicious and um, not too heavy on the caramel. So I appreciated that very much. Um, it was just a nice sweet apple scent. Honestly, it was very good and simple and beautiful. And um, I would repurchase a caramel apple scent again from fantasy wax. So it probably wouldn't be called Mary Sanderson because this was from a specific collection. Um, from probably a Hocus Pocus one or something like that. But I, if she ever like offered just caramel apple in another collection, I would repurchase. So very good on that one. Let's see, I don't wanna miss any, you guys know me, I'm probably gonna miss a scent shot or something and I'll come back to it. So I think I got them all though. So now we're gonna jump into all of my bags and I've got so many bags that I got through. So let me just get them all out. Um, I would try to go by vendor, but to be honest with all that I have right now, I just don't think that's feasible. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to pause the video and organize and I would rather just kind of go through things. So I'm gonna just pull from what's on top of this pile and do the best I can to remember how it performed. And most of them I do remember, like I said, it's the ones that were in smaller amounts that I don't remember as well, um, which is fine. Okay, so this first one is from Pharmacist Daughter, and this is in the scent Feeling Like Fall. This is Marshmallow Fireside, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Mac Apple. And this one, you guys, this was really good. So, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, now, I would say it was mostly Mac Apple. So if you don't like Mac Apple, I would stay, steer clear of this one. I love Mac Apple, so for me, this was really good. Um, you did get, you can get a little bit of the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and, um, I think the uh, Marshmallow Fireside really wasn't present in this one, which is fine. I'm not a fan of that scent note anyway. So this was really good for me. I used, um, I had one good melting session with this in my open concept. And then in my bathroom, I got two, two separate melts out of it. So really, really good, really strong performer. Um, like I said, Pharmacist Daughter has been doing so, so well for me. So I would repurchase this one for sure. Love it. Even if like she were to make another batch and it wasn't as heavy in Mac Apple, I think I would still enjoy it because it's just a really good scent. Um, up next is a, this was from the L3 Advent, Halloween Advent, and I did not use the whole entire Advent. Um, I only got through like eight days of it, which is fine. This is Chestnuts, Brown Sugar, Cranberry Rhubarb Preserves. I did not care for this one. Um, I think I don't love the chestnut scent note. This is like the second time I've had a chestnut scent and I don't love it. So I think personally, that's just not my favorite. Um, I love L3, you guys know, they're one of my favorite top, top favorite vendors. This was not a good scent for me. I would not purchase that scent um, just purposely. You know what I mean? Um, up next, we have Beyond the Grave, also from the Advent. This is Farm Stand Apple Leaves Pumpkin Souffle. This was amazing. Um, I wish I would have given this a little more cure time. That's one thing about the Advent, I will say, is it was sent out so close to when it started. I think my stuff only sat for two weeks before I started melting it. And 
I find with L3 that there are certain scents that you can melt right away, but a lot of it, like if, like four to six weeks is a really good amount of cure time. So I wish it would have come out sooner so that we had more cure time with it because this was really yummy. But even like now smelling in the bag, and I only melted this a couple days ago, so the bag should still be strong. I'm getting it, like I get the leaves and apple scent, but it could be stronger. And same with performance, it could have performed better. Um, I love their, what is it called? Season of the Witch, I think, from L3. Sorry if you hear my washer, it's really loud right now. Um, but that's their leaves and apple scent, and I love that. Like, that has my whole heart. It's so good. Um, and this should be similar, but it just didn't perform as well. So I would purchase this scent again, but I would definitely let it sit longer. Up next, also from the L3 Advent, is... Um, nightmare hour this is toasted mallow white cake and almond macaroon and i'll say the same thing about this one really good but didn't perform super well and again that's not the norm for l3 so i think it's lack of cure time so yeah i i mean i can't really say whether or not i would purchase this again because i don't really i didn't get a great performance from it um i think if it would have performed well then yes it would be a repurchase but yeah just kind of got lost in the in the mix um, up next, this one, this one did perform pretty well. This is Monster Under the Bed, and this is Oregon, Oregon Autumn Sweater Weather and Rainstorm. I absolutely love her Oregon Autumn scent. Um, I have a, a two-pack bunch that has the Oregon Autumn. I think it's like Oregon Autumn, Mal, uh, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, something. I've been just saving it for the perfect rainy day. And that's actually, I popped this one in on a really chilly overcast morning in my bathroom. And this one I can still smell in the bag. So like, here's the difference. These two I melted just a couple days ago. This one I melted, I don't know, a couple, I think this was day, this was like day two or three of the advent. So it's been about a week. And this one, I can still smell so strongly in the bag, smells so smells so good it was so it performed really well I would repurchase that scent I don't know why I spent so long talking about that okay up next we have a sweet pumpkin latte from that smell good shop I didn't realize I had finished this one okay um this one and here's why I didn't realize I had finished it it was not very good I'll be honest um this was a custom I did from that smell good shop typically I get really good performance and I don't know what happened with this one. I've had this since probably June, maybe July, so it should be cured. Um, the scent notes in this is Bloodlines, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Sugar Cookie. And I would think, okay, Bloodlines is a coffee scent. That should be strong. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is usually pretty strong. Sugar Cookie, eh, it's just a blender. When I smell the bag, I get the Bloodlines scent. I get that coffee scent. Um... And I get a little pumpkin pecan waffles. When I warmed this, it just kind of smelled like burning or hot, like not even hot coffee, like hot pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't know. It was just not the best. Um, and I, that's why I'm so, I don't even remember finishing it, to be honest. I do remember when I put it in for the last time, I just put it in before I went to work and um, I just let it go for that day and changed it when I got home. It really wasn't great um i i would 100 percent recommend that smell good shop but i wouldn't recommend this blend i don't know if there was something about it that just didn't work but yeah anyways enough about that one i'm always afraid to say something negative because i don't want it to be a reflection of the vendor especially <clears throat> when it's vendors i know i love but that to me that just didn't work so we'll move on um up next we have rose girls this is honey spiced pears peeps cake this is another one for me <clears throat> that I would not repurchase because it didn't perform super well. Um, and typically I have good luck with Rose Girls. Like I don't really have a problem and it smells good in the bag and on cold. Performance wise, it, it was just really light. Um, I would have loved it to be a little bit stronger in the bag. It smells delicious. On warm, it just performed light. So I wouldn't repurchase this. I enjoyed the bag. I, you know, it's not that I couldn't smell it. It just was a light performer. So won't be a repurchase for me which is fine i've got plenty of rose girl scents that i love so <coughs> up 
Up next is Fresh Pick Strawberries and Spin Cycle. This was pretty good. I use this in my laundry room or my laundry closet as I call it, um, which I have a plug-in in there from Target and the plug-in itself does not perform well. So it's not the wax. It doesn't matter what wax I put in that plug-in. It's just very iffy on whether or not I'm gonna get a good performance. Um, this one smells really good but definitely is a laundry scent. I love fresh picked strawberries, especially from L3 and <clears throat> her spin cycle is pretty strong. So it's definitely a laundry scent. Um, I want to get a different plug in for that space and try some other laundry samples that I have because I just, I think the, the warmer itself isn't performing well. It's one of those, um, where <clears throat> it's not gloss, it's not ceramic. It's like, um, almost like a metal, if you know what I mean. So it just doesn't, it gets really hot really fast. And I think what happens with that is it takes all the scent out so quickly so that you you just don't get a great throw from it. Um, up next is Fluffy Pistachio Clouds, Pistachio Pudding Cake, Boardwalk, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds and Mallow Fluff from L3. This was a puppy pack. This was pretty good. Um, I got good performance. Um, nice pistachio scent i just used it as a buffer between all of my bakery and really enjoyed it um would repurchase but also l3 and rose girls and like um they all have really good pistachio scent so i'm always trying something new so like would repurchase but also would be willing to try something new instead of it if that makes sense because there's so many good ones okay this one is from that smell good shop and this is lattes by the fire and this is um, coffee, campfire, and fireplace. This was delicious. This was so good. So this is what I mean. That smell good shop is usually really good for me. I don't know what happened with that custom. <laughs> this one, you guys, oh my goodness. I was afraid of it because smoky scents for me and fire scents are not always the best. This just, I don't know what's in it that made it, because it says just coffee, campfire, and fireplace, but there's gotta be something sweet in there there was some kind of blender in here that just balanced everything out and made it so almost creamy smelling. It was so good. I do have another pack of this and will 100% melt it because I loved this and I would repurchase this again. That was, this was a really good one. If you are like me and you don't love smoky scents, don't be afraid of it because it was really good. Um, up next, I had a wax cake from Southbound in Apple Fritter Birthday Cheesecake, and this one was yummy. So what I found with Southbound, <clears throat> and Southbound is one of my favorite vendors, um, what I have found, though, is that the performance, they it performs really, really well for about four to six hours. That's pretty much the max I get, but during those four to six hours, man... I am in heaven with everything I've ever melted from Southbound. So I will continue to purchase and use Southbound. Um, I just have found because of that, and it's kind of the same like with um, Rose Girls for me. Um, I've just found with vendors like that, it's just better if I use them when I know I'm going to be home because I oftentimes will throw a scent in in the morning, leave it going all day, and then enjoy it. So I'll enjoy it a little in the morning and then I'll enjoy it when I come home from work. Southbound Rose Girls, I can't really do that with because it's pretty much gone by the time I get home. However, if I'm home, this is like, I will melt Southbound and Rose Girls all day, every day. So very good. I would highly recommend if you like the apple fritter scents, that apple fritter oil, so good. Okay, up next I have a sample that I don't remember very much about. This was Fall Magic. This was from the Southbound, um, Halloween or fall sampler. And as I mentioned in my last um, empties video, I am not getting great performance out of these little samples. So I am not using that as a reflection on Southbound because like I just mentioned, I love Southbound and her wax cakes, her bakery bags, like clamshells all do really well in my home. They per don't perform for very long. You know, like I said, four to six hours, but they are a 10 out of 10 while they are going. So I'm not using this as a reflection on the vendor. I don't know if I just need to let these, in fact, I haven't touched them since I melted this one, I don't think. I've put them away. I'm gonna try them again next year. So we'll just see if it has something to do with cure time. Um, up next, we have a Blackberry Scone from Fantasy Wax. This was a, uh, 
snap bar. Sorry, I can't think of the word. I don't know where my brain is today. Um, this was a snap bar and this was delicious. Okay, there's a scent from Scentsy and it's like blackberry orange marmalade, I think. And this smells so similar to that. It is so good. I love blackberry orange marmalade from Scentsy and this, you guys, is like so good it's pretty much just a blackberry scent but it was so tart yet sweet at the same time so beautiful i love it i have another one of these snap bars and if she ever brings this scent back i will repurchase in in like a major quantity like a large quantity so good um up next we have hermione from l3 this is a favorite of mine um, this is orange cranberry muffins and a hint of books. I don't know what a hint of books is, but that orange cranberry muffins with it. Oh, so good. Okay, this is delicious. And I have searched and searched on the website since then to see if she's released it again in any other form. I would buy it in a loaf. If you haven't tried Hermione next time it's released, please give it a try. It's really good. Um, up next is I Put a Spell on You, also by L3, was also in Bunts. This is Cinnamon Sugar, French Baguette with our Top Secret Bakery Bomb Blend, and then Apple Cider, Leaves, and Spice. Okay, this is delicious. I want I Put a Spell on You by itself without the Apple Cider, Leaves, and Spice. I already know Apple Cider, Leaves, and Spice on its own would be delicious. I want I Put a Spell on You by itself. I am in love with L3's cinnamon sugar. I I need that in a trig tart because you guys, that is the best cinnamon sugar scent out there, I think, in my opinion. So good. If you haven't tried L3 cinnamon sugar, do it. Um, it's often in a lot of different blends. And if it's ever like prominent in a blend, it's amazing. Okay, we've got two more bags to get through. Um, up next is Hot Apple Pie White Elephant Exchange. This interesting I can't decide here's my thoughts on white elephant exchange oh, for, the hot apple pie is amazing okay white elephant exchange smells really funky when it's first going okay it has a really weird smell but after it's been going for a few hours and it's kind of like balanced itself out it's a really nice scent I would never purchase elephant exchange white elephant exchange on its own but I will continue to purchase it in blends because I've always said I think it really mellows out whatever the other oil is so like I had it one time with lemon curd and the lemon curd was so strong and then when I melted it I the white elephant exchange balanced it out so well and it was this nice creamy lemon almost like a lemon pound cake scent that I was getting and then with the hot apple pie um, they just ended up like after we got through the funk of the white elephant exchange it really balanced out and it was like just a creamy apple pie so I really like it it's just my feelings about white elephant exchange are just weird like I don't like it at first but then after it gets going it's really good so I don't know I don't know if I'm alone in that or if I'm crazy or what um, up next we have overlook hotel and I'm actually finishing this up right now this is Cider Lane Toasted Marshmallow and Smoky Fireside. So currently I'm finishing the last piece in my laundry room. It is actually a very fresh scent, which is weird because Cider Lane is prominent, right? But, and on cold, it pretty much, this smells like maybe like a little bit of a smoky Cider Lane, but then on warm, it kind of transforms into this like fresh, almost, almost like, sweet earthy scent if I maybe not earthy but like maybe body care I don't know I ended up so I melted it twice in my open concept and it was good like really good but didn't seem to fit the space if that makes sense just wasn't like it reminded me more of a bathroom type scent and so then uh, it was a harvest cake so I got so much out of it so then I took it and I finished it off in the bathroom and laundry room and really enjoyed it in those spaces. So I would purchase this again, but I would purchase it in a smaller quantity just because I know now I like it for laundry and bathroom best. So it was interesting, an interesting scent for sure. Okay, up next we are onto the things that I did not get to finish. So um, let me start with this one because this was gross. So 
This was from L3. It was pumpkin crunch cake, salted caramel, and crunch berry crisp. I can't tell you what I don't like about this. I don't know what scent note it is. I don't know if it's just the mixture of them together. But the best way I can describe how I feel about it is, you know when you eat something that you think is going to be really good and then it's like bitter and gross? Like, like a cheese, for instance. Like if you have this cheese that you're excited to try, you eat it and it's like leaves like a bitter taste on the back of your tongue. That's what this does to my nose. So everything in this seems like it should be good. And then I smell it and like on the back of my nose, like against my throat, I get this really, really bitter scent and it does not go away on warm. So even on warm, it still did it. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just put it aside for the round robin that I'm participating in because I, I don't like it's not bad wax it just I don't like it something about it I don't know if it's the salted caramel mixed with the crunch berry crisp I'm not liking or what um so it was a two-pack bunt I cut my bunts into four and as you can see I used one bunt in my open concept and that was it and I don't even think I left it in for very long I let it go for a few hours and I could not take it so I pulled it out um so yeah not my favorite will not be finishing that one Another one I didn't love, interestingly enough, is this Customs from K's, and it's totally on me. This is called Boa Vista. It's apple cider donut, fallen leaves, and funnel cake, and I don't know what it is about it. It has like a, I don't know, I'm going to try it again because I, maybe it's not so much that I don't like it, is that it st smells so different than I expected it to smell. I was expecting a more, I don't know, like just a nice fall, and it does smell like fall, but I was expecting maybe more of like a, maybe maybe that those fallen leaves, I was looking for more of the leaves like Bath and Body Works type, um, which to be fair, doesn't say that it is that on the website. I just, I was thinking it in my head, and it's taking on almost a soft, clothes type scent but not laundry um I don't know how to explain it it's really really interesting and I get a little bit of that on cold and then on warm it really comes out more again I'm not sure I think saying that I didn't like it was not the right thing to say it's not that I don't like it it's just not what I expected if that makes sense it's not what I was going for in my custom and that's what happens sometimes with customs like we try to put things together and they don't always turn out the way we expected them to. So I'm not getting rid of this one. Um, I just, I'm going to try it again and then I'll see how I feel. And then I'm going to put the rest away for next fall and I'll see how I feel then. Because it's not that I dislike it, it's just not what I expected. Up next we have, this is so good you guys. This is apple cinnamon, cinnamon sugar coffee bean from L3, it was a loaf, and oh my goodness, I am in love with this scent. I would purchase this in another loaf. Um, I'm just gonna be rolling this over, so I'm probably gonna use a little more of it this weekend, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it over to November and try to finish it up in November. This is delicious. I would highly recommend a, uh, repurchasing that. So rolling that one over, um, not rolling this over, but I'm going to try it again before I put it away for the year. So I'm going to just put it over there. This is going bye-byes, so that's going to go over there. Um, okay, and then I have Deathly Apples from Southbound. This was a bakery bag. Um, and this is like, so the scent notes say green apple, red apples, tropical peach, blossoms, and orchid. This is just a green apple scent in my opinion, and it smells really good. So I actually had this going in my bathroom last night. I stuck it in before bed and it was so crazy because I could smell it all the way into the living room. And um, I mean, we have a small house, about 1300 square feet, so not large, but normally I don't smell my bathroom scent from the living room, especially because I keep the bathroom door closed. So, um, but I did and it smelled really good. It's a really good green apple scent. If you like green apple scents, like that sour, just not not sour in a bad way but like that tart scent um tart apple this is it so so good and um i don't plan on finishing this up i'm not going to roll this over however i'm just going to put it back in my collection for next fall so i'm going to put that over with my custom from k's because that's probably where that one's going to go to um yeah really really good green apple scent would highly recommend if you like that kind of scent 
and yeah it performed really well in my bathroom so I smelled it like I said really strongly for about four to six hours um, I was able to smell it when we went to bed just it was it was super good okay up next I think this is what I'm going to finish today and this is carbs with cool friends so I just have enough for one more open concept melt so I'm gonna be finishing this one up today this is one of my all-time favorite scents from Rose Girls for the fall time so good I love her carbs scents they're delicious so yeah I'm gonna be finishing this one up today actually set that aside over here up next we have apple cider donut from um, pharmacist daughter the only reason this is not finished is just because I just didn't start it until way later in the month so I'm gonna put this back in my collection I'm not rolling it over I love apple cider donut that one was super good I melted it um, and really really enjoyed it when I did so love that scent up next is circus concessions from rose girls again i have enough left for one open concept melt so also plan to finish this up before the end of the month like i said there's four more days left um circus concessions is amazing it's a beautiful scent from rose girls especially for fall nice caramel apple scent is the way i like to think of it up next we have trick or treat from pharmacist daughter i actually have not even started this one it was a souffle in Cider Lane Marshmallow Fireside Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Let me sniff it really quick and see how I feel about it because, ooh, that's delicious. Okay, so I do think I'm going to finish this. So again, four days left. So today is the 28th. I'm going to use this. Um, tomorrow I will come home and probably finish up circus concessions. So that's the 29th. The 30th we will be home all day. So I'll probably throw this in. And then that leaves the 31st. I can use a little bit of this, this, um, and I'll finish off whatever is left of this in my bathroom. Um, and then, sorry, I wasn't done yet. Um, I have this, which I don't love. I'm probably gonna put this in the round robin. This is oatmeal chai cream puffs from Southbound. I have just found I don't love oatmeal scents and I don't love chai scents. So this is not my favorite. On cold, I really like it, but on warm, I just don't love it. Um, but if you like oatmeal chai, I mean, this is oatmeal chai, it's good. Um, it's good as far as that goes, but I just don't love that scent. And then we have this, which I'm also, so maybe I'll try to finish up this one, this one by the end of the month too. This is Autumn Woods and a scoopable from Kathy's, um, scoopable tarts. And this is Cranberry Woods Cider Lane and Marshmallow Smoothie. This is delicious. This is a, an amazing scent. Um, and really I could probably finish that up. Eh. If I used it in my open concept and my bathroom, I could finish this up in one more melt because I have four warmers in my open concept, one in my bathroom. So yes, I could probably finish between five warmers. I could probably finish that up. So what I, my plan is, and that's everything. So I have a few things I'm getting rid of. Um, this I'm rolling over. This, these things that are over here, I'm putting back in my collection. And then the things I plan to get to hopefully finish up before the end of the month, like I said, four more days, is this scoopable, this little souffle from Pharmacist's Daughter, and these two Rose Girls sets. Sorry, I can't back up enough. Carbs with Girl Friends and Circus Concessions. Um, and I should be able to do that. I don't see why these things can't be finished. Um, so this was a really awesome month. I emptied a lot, I melted through a lot, found a couple scents I love, found a couple scents I don't love, um, found some scents that, that just really like were not what I expected them to be. So it was a great month of melting. Up next, you guys are going to be seeing my November melting basket, which I'm going to film right now. Um, I'll probably put these videos up together. So I'll put this one up and then follow it directly with that one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any thoughts on any of the things that I shared. And I cannot wait to share with you what I'm melting in November. And then obviously, like I'm so excited already to see what I can get through and to find some like favorites and stuff for November. So I will see you guys in the next one and have a great rest of your day. Bye.